Welcome back everyone. I have a fun little short video for you today. I picked this up at an antique store for $10. It's a pretty good price. I thought it was pretty cool. It's a uh, little pouch from World War II and inside the pouch is a first aid kit. Now the first aid kit hasn't been opened yet so I'm gonna open it and uh, we'll be the first ones inside of it since well whenever they packaged it that would have been the 40s. So let's go ahead and open this. I did open this already and take a look inside. It's a little hard to do with one hand. So let's go ahead and pop that open. Okay, there we go. And uh, it does say something right there. Um, I can see it a little better on the camera. I couldn't see it with my eyes, but let's try to read it. Man. See if we can get a shadow to help us out there. Maybe it says Theralt PE. I don't know. What do you guys think? So, the reason, one of the main reasons I got this is because right on there, I'll get a picture on screen. It says Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm noticing it says something in the corner now too, which I didn't see before, but that was really cool because I am from Rhode Island, so that was one of the selling pieces for me. And inside of it, we have the first aid kit itself. Let's see if we can read some of this. First aid packet, U.S. government. Um, what does that say? Carlisle model? I don't know, I probably said that wrong. To open, pull tab, pull tape, right there. Pull tape, red color, indicates. Back of dressing, put the other, this is really hard to read through the camera lens. Put the other side, something to wound. Johnson & Johnson, New Brunswick, Chicago, Illinois. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is gonna be hard to do with one hand, so I'll come back when it's open. All right, this is off. Um, one thing, it does say something on the back. Uh, I'll try to pronounce that. With sulfan, sulfanilamide, sulfanilamide. Uh, I think it's a antibiotic, but here we go. Let's open this up. Okay, so we are greeted with this paper. Try to open that up. Hopefully there's no adhesive on it. It'll make my job a lot harder. There it is. Just bear with me a second while I get this open. It does feel hard inside, which is really weird. I'll just let you guys enjoy this. <laughs> me struggling trying to open this package with one hand. Ooh, I don't want to tear it. So let's just lift that out. We can put this aside. And I'll open this ice cream sandwich looking thing, and I'll be back. Well, so much for not tearing it, but we did get into it. Uh, I think it might just be a bandage, but get it open. And see, it has something written on it. Just shake it out a little bit. Okay, so yep, yeah, it is just a bandage. Uh, let's try to open this up. Okay, so this is interesting. Put other side next to wound. So on the back right here, you'd put that on your wound. And this looks like it could be for an arm or a leg. You just wrap it right around. And uh, there's some adhesive right here. And it just sticks to that and it makes a good, nice seal. So that is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was, not sure what I was expecting in there, but I wasn't expect expecting this. Now this stuff does have whatever this is on it, which pretty sure it's an antibiotic. So it's probably not still there or anything, but it would be inside. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice little piece of World War II history. And um, now this kit wasn't that great, but I really do like this bag, and I wanna find out what that says right there. 
See if we can get a better look at it. Get some more light on it. Definitely says PE. I think it does say Theralt PE. So if you know anything about that, let me know. And I hope you enjoyed this short little video. I know it's not much, but you know, I appreciate World War II history. And um, if you're watching this, then I'm sure you do too. And even though this is a short video, it was fun. And uh, how often do you get to open brand new items from World War II? So if you like this, stay tuned and uh, watch some more videos of mine. I do middle detecting and uh, just treasure hunting in general and history stuff like this. So thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. Thanks.